It's just it's just so so weird that because you can sit there and and look at a flower and and you can say, well, I can see the math, but then you're not seeing the flower. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you, that's a, you can look at it. You can look at a, a beautiful natural forest, and you can see <laughs> construction timbers, or you can you can look at a natural forest and see the the incredible ecosystem that it is within itself. It's the same thing, and all the life it sustains. And uh, that's why you know. The, well, you know, it's obvious when we came to that that that, that, that schism, bang when you know the Native Americans met the European settlers the Europeans saw the, the European psychopathic control system not, not necessarily the immigrants or any of the people that went over but the, the psychopathic system that they were the representatives of saw North, met the North American content, continent as purely a resource base, isn't that interesting now? a resource base to be plundered and the Native Americans were quite different in their regard. They couldn't understand how you could actually buy and sell land. You had to win land as warriors or stuff like that. They had a very different attitude. But uh, what was I going to say? The, the, they, their, that schism came about directly, and that genocide came about directly because of the, the publication of Charles Darwin's... Uh, the origins of species, the Native American genocide, I'm talking about the North American one, the, the first real purposeful scientifically undertaken genocide happened as a result of Darwinian uh, thought entering the mainstream, uh, not as even a biological or a scientific work, but as a philosophical mandate. And that's what, that's the difference. A normal person read the, the, the origin of species and say to themselves, that's fantastic. There is a, an underlying intelligence towards, uh, towards how humans, how the, the natural order takes place. There is a brilliant uh, uh, fluidity towards how society happens, where a psychopathic, a psychopathic individual would read it and say, that's my legal statute for wiping out the, that inferior group, or sterilizing these people, or you know, uh, tampering with this kind of thing. It gives me a chance to play God. And that's exactly how, this is why psychopaths are obsessed with Darwinian evolution, because they see it as a mandate to do what they want to do when they get into power, the, from sterilization to genocide. And what's really uh, so funny about the way that, that, that you've explained this is it comes back to the puzzle. It, it, they need to have a puzzle that can be solved. Um, they need to have an explanation that can be found. They are, they are chasing their own tail. They are trying to analyze everything by, by number or, or behavior or rules or repetition. They do not see that things are not um, apostle, that they are a natural process, and 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 why I believe this is relevant is, if you look at any of the writings of, uh, about pagan society and about um, the natural state of uh, uh, of human beings, one thing that you will find is that they did not have anxieties. No. Like animals don't have anxiety. They will have they will have fear, but they cannot have fear of something that's not there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly it. They, anxiety is a scientific process that's been used to control us. Uh, you take away all the anxieties of modern man. The, the average modern person in a Western society, ninety nine percent of his anxieties are completely invented. Yes, and what's really <laughs> relevant is the, is the, is that every time I hear this. Uh, disgust. They talk about fear, but it's not fear. It's anxiety, and there's a exactly. fucking huge difference. Fear exactly. is being afraid that that predator will eat me. Anxiety is being afraid that something is going to eat me. Yes, and and fear is co fear, and this is what this is. This is okay. You want to get down to the the crux of my work here. Fear gives you the impetus to develop creative, philosophical, spiritual, scientific, emotional and psychological weaponry 
and solutions to escape the fear. Anxiety because the, 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 the actual fear is not real. Therefore, the solutions to escape that anxiety will either never be attained or will be dependent upon solutions that are handed to you from third-party sources who put you in that state of anxiety to begin with. And that's extremely important. I'm glad you brought that up. And it's, Fear and anxiety have nothing to do with each other. And, and, it's, and it's so key to everything that we have to move into. It's, it's just a natural development, right? Because the anxiety that they are causing, it's, it's, it's also a mechanism that's being used in the animal kingdom, right? Because you will have predators that use uh, um, uh, distraction and diversion, uh, and they they use things like like the rattlesnake, right? Or the fish that looks like uh, that looks Pirate like fish. more dangerous than it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, th there's plenty. Or the moth that looks like the eyes of an owl or or a dangerous uh, bird of prey. Yes, and and it's yeah. all about putting you in a position where you are not able to react. Yeah. They, 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 are, they are working on anxiety. It's not about fear, because fear would just make you either fight or flee. That's yeah. what fear does. Fear, fear makes, makes you strong. Fear gives you wings, right? Uh, if you remember yeah. the, the, isn't it the, the Asterix album about teach us what fear is so we can get wings to we, so we can fly. Yeah. And and also the fact that because fear is is a cause of action and anxiety is is a, um, is something that freezes you, then freezing you is very useful for a predator. It makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. You will be more successful. And what what the human predatory system is doing is using all these tools to stop us from being able to act. Exactly, and that's, that's what everything from transhumanism, the Venus Project, advertising, the hypersexualization of Western society, it's all about creating anxieties that pin us down in a certain place, in a certain uh, status, and as long as we're pinned down, we're easier to manage.